this Valentine's Day. We have a unique way to celebrate, and it's fun for guys and girls. Jonathan Bender, founder of the Recommended Daily, which is a food and beverage publication, is actually here to talk about brewing and the new beers and things that are happening in Kansas City. That's right. Right now, Boulevard has chocolate ale out, which everybody has been going crazy yeah, for. Yeah, there's been a lot of news about that. There Isn't really it has. It's a big deal. It is, because it brings together Christopher Elbow, who's a local chocolatier, and Boulevard, who's our hometown brewery. So if you missed a bottle, there's actually still some on tap around town. The best place to check is Twitter, but right now at Jazz in the Legends, they still have a bottle or they'll have it on tap. And then also The Point just off the plaza tweeted this morning that they're just tapping a keg. So you know where to go get good beer and good food and all kinds of things. Tell me about this new venture that you started with your new publication. Sure. For us, we looked at Kansas City is ready for a food and drink centric publication. And so associated with that, we launched an app for the iPhone called the Kansas City Breweries app to give you a sense of all the things that's happening in the Kansas City microbrewery scene. You know, it used to be you could just get Boulevard beer, but now there's actually nine different breweries in the area that are making beer right here in Kansas City. All right, so tell us a little bit about the beers that you have discovered that are a little unique and something special you might want to tell people about. Sure. Uh, two new microbreweries actually just opened this week. So on Tuesday, the Kansas City Beer Company opened in Waldo. It's a German-style beer hall. So it's they use ingredients that are specifically and traditionally from Germany. They have a Hefeweizen, mm -hmm. which is a Bavarian-style wheat beer. Now, well, I know it's cold and there's <laughs> snow out, but it, we're supposed to get to the 60s this weekend, yeah. I think, so it's the kind of thing okay. you can enjoy. And then on Wednesday, Martin City Brewing Company, which yeah. is in Martin City, open Martin City Pizza and Tap. And so it's stone oven pizza and then also tap beer. They also have a wheat-style beer. Now, this is a wit beer, uh, mm -hmm. so it's a little bit different. It's Bavarian. It's going to be crisp and refreshing, but it oh. really makes you think of spring as opposed to winter. Yeah, we have these two here. Tell us about these. Sure. Uh, so chocolate ale, I mean, what's amazing to me is that fear over people wanting to get it. it. If you go on Craigslist now, you can see bottles of chocolate ale for $50, Ooh. and it probably retailed for a third or a quarter of that. Uh -huh. uh, that demand is just so high. And, and then here from the Kansas City Beer Company is what's called a growler. And so that's 64 uh -huh. ounces of beer, so you can actually take their beer home because it's just available on tap now, and they'll start serving those tomorrow. Well, we're so excited about your new publication and, and everything that you're doing to give us all the insights on, on food and wine and beer in Kansas City. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you. I want to show everybody that there is a blog. All you have to do is um, go to the blog and tell us what the blog sure, address it's is. Recommendeddaily.co.co. All right. Sounds good. Thanks so much for being here. Thank you.